What is up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Ford Air. You got me, Solomon, here, and we are at the Grand National F100 show, and uh, we're going to start walking around. We got the Ford Era booth over here, so we got gold dust, I got a whole bunch of goodies, all this stuff you could also find on FordEra.com. Got all types of hats, got keychains, some tags, some shirts, and then a bunch of stickers. And uh, we're gonna walk around, we're gonna show you what's here at the show, um, and that's it. So here we got gold dust, our 1970 F250 crew cab, and uh, let me pop the hood for you guys. Here is her 12 valve Cummins and uh, let's see what's over here. Here we got Matt's truck, Solus Innovations. This thing is super cool. He drove it all the way from Mississippi. Here's Justin's truck. He's got a 12 valve going in this baby. You can see how much firewall space he had. And then here is Shane's beautiful 64. Don't know whose this is, but it's really nice. And then here we got the fellas. These guys drove all the way from California with all of these rigs over here. Here we got Craig's awesome 7.3 powered slick. Hey bud, is that a 12 valve? Yes sir, you betcha. It's a 12 valve power stroke. How you doing man? I'm doing awesome. Uh, you wanna tell them what we're looking at? So this is a 7.3 standalone unit. So what I do at No Spark Innovations is I take the factory 7.3 wiring harness, I strip it down, completely repurpose it for a 7.3 repower. You can put it in pretty much anything you want. It's a relatively the same size as a 460, so if it'll 460 will fit, you will be perfectly perfect to put this in a truck. So what we do is we go through, strip the harness down, eliminate all the stuff you do not need. We also take the AC brackets, relocate them to where the factory 6 liter is. We also drop the alternator brackets down to clean it up. Usually the AC compressor is up top. I move them down low just to clean it up, kind of keep everything out of the way. A lot of guys ask why I didn't do factory or on my 64. It's just because I didn't have these products developed at that time. So it's a full turnkey solution to the guys that want to diesel swap their trucks. It's better than a 12 valve, in my opinion. I know there's a lot of guys out there that beg to differ, but I'm a Ford guy. I believe a Ford engine belongs in a Ford truck. 
But this is an international motor. It, it's a power stroke. It came in the Ford truck, so that's what I'm trying I'm to. Just busting I know. Out. And there's, there's, I have that 12 valve that I built years ago. That was a, a Cummins that was in a Ford. The actual motor tag said Ford on it, so that's why I purchased it because I thought that was cool. Well, where can people go to check you out if they want to get one? So of these? you can follow me on Instagram. So my personal one is 64 underscore 73, or you can follow the business at No Spark Innovations. And like I said, that's what we do. We're a diesel-powered hot rod shop specializing in power stroke conversions. Awesome. Well, thank you for taking a little bit of time and showing us what you got. No problem. Thank you very much, Solomon. I appreciate it. We're at Solus, we just left No Spark, and uh, what do you guys do? How's it going, Solomon? Uh, we're Solus Innovations. We build replacement cab mounts, tuck bumper brackets, fuel tanks. Uh, we're just, just now getting into the F100 world. We've been in here about a year, and just trying to break out into it and make replacement parts for you guys. Absolutely, and uh, one of the things that I like is I like the guys that aren't just making parts, but nobody knows who they are. You're out here, you got a truck, you guys drive them everywhere, everywhere. and you make the parts that you need for your own truck, and then you sell them. That's how I think it has to go, because if not, people just start making stuff they don't know. Absolutely. We, uh, we prototype everything on our, our shop truck first, and then we offer it to you guys. If we like it, then we sell it to you. Where can everybody go to check you out? Uh, check us out on soulsinnovations.com, or you could call the, the line at 228-456-3126. Awesome. We're also on Facebook and Instagram. You can check us out on all the social media outlets as well. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yes, Thank you.
All right, guys, so we've been walking around and uh, got a couple of my assistants over here. We got Mr. Luke Matthew, and then we've got Emily. I don't know if she wants me to say her last name or not, so okay, we won't. And uh, now I just saw a pretty cool big back window. You guys know I'm a big unibody guy. And since we're in the swap meet, I bet it's for sale. That's probably yours, bud, right? It is. What can you tell me about it? Hey, buddy, what's your name? Keegan. Keegan? Can you tell me about that? You tell them about that roof? You know about that roof? You know about that roof. Tell me. What is it? <laughs> it was on a truck that was just completely rusted out. It sat pretty much on the ground, seemed like, for a long time. Quarters, floor pans, firewall, everything. So we bought it to fix it because my wife liked the big back window. And by the time I started gathering up a cab and parts to fix the lower end, I found another truck. Oh, man. So. Now you don't need it. I don't need it. So that was literally the only thing that didn't come apart as we were cutting it up. So. And what's your name? What was that? Kensley. Kensley. That is a pretty name. And have you guys been doing good? Have they been selling stuff for you? They've been selling stuff. They had these little cardboard trucks. They were selling a snack and a truck. And they put a bag of chips in them. They sold out like the first day. Oh, that is awesome. They were doing great. Heck yeah. Yeah, we, we do a lot of trim and parts and trucks and my brother and I do it. Where can people go to check you out? They need some stuff. We're trying to get a website started. Uh, we've got stickers made. The Graham Automotive. Are you on Instagram? Us. We are on Instagram. We're on, uh, we're going to make a Facebook page too. So what I is just, your Instagram? I use my Facebook page for the time being. But, um, Instagram. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, check it out. That way we can tell the guys to come look at it. Uh, who has it? Your wife? Oh, there you go. Boom. Let's figure this out. Let me show someone this, this roof. Maybe some, one of you guys might want it. Oh, a little cancerous. Not too bad. At least the back part of it's in good condition. Right. Patrick Graham the second. There we go. Awesome. Well, Patrick, thanks for chatting and. Uh, I guess have fun packing everything up. Oh yeah. Maybe we'll work something out on that off camera. So I'm gonna see if we can do that. All right, everybody. So that's it. Grand Nationals 2022 is over. It was awesome. Goldust actually got best of class, uh, which is pretty cool. Never think you're gonna win something and then boom, you do. The show's over, over. Like I've just been uh, doing a bunch of stuff. Everybody's pretty much gone. The last of the trucks are loading up right now and uh, i had a great time just want to give a special thank you to joe senior and junior joe carpenter you guys both did a great job your whole team thank you for putting this on and uh, i'm looking forward for next year's event if you guys can do me the favor go smash that like button if you don't already subscribe to the channel hit that subscribe and uh, if you got any questions comments drop them down below you want to get some cool merch like these hats shirts all types of stuff Head over to FordArid.com and we'll see you all in the next video.